Questions? Serena, what did you think was the difference in the match? It was really decided by just a few points, it seemed, from our, our point. Uh, yeah, I guess. I haven't really had a lot of time to think about the difference. I think she was, you know, I know in the first, she won the first set by one point. So, I mean, that just goes to show you have to really play the big points well. And I think she played the big points really well. Uh. Well, the big, big disappointment, but uh, you think you played well? I think you played today better than the past days. I don't know if it's your feeling or not. I understand that when you lose, it's difficult to appreciate. Thank you. Um, I don't know. I think I don't know, there's just so many f holes. Like, I could have served better. I mean, I made a lot of errors on my return. Uh, you know, but I, I did definitely try out there today. But did I play better than the other matches? It's just a, it's a totally different game. Like my other matches have been different types of players. You know, more or less. You know, totally different style. And I think um, today was just, you know, another new style. So I don't know if it was better or, or what, but it's gone in the right direction, I think. Serena, you. You applauded when you saw that the lob hit the line. Was that one of the best match points that's been played against you? I think so, yeah, for sure. Um, I thought that ball was going out, so yeah, it was, but it didn't. But it was, it was a, it was a really intense match point. Serena, how much, if at all, that was the adductor a problem for you out there on court, and were there any physical issues for you today at all? Um, you know, it was okay. I'm not one to ever make excuses and say like, oh, my doctor was hurting or whatever. I think, you know, at the end of the day, I didn't play the game I needed to play to win and she did. And ad doctor or not, she, she played to win and, you know, that's what she did. Serena, uh, schedule-wise, do you feel like the last few days were the most challenging for you ever uh, in your grandson? Because you don't have time to fully recover physically um again i'm not gonna sit here and make excuses i've played um i've played a lot of times four or five matches in a row um so you know it is what it is it's not i don't think it's like something that i would say oh that was the reason no i just didn't do what i needed to do today um, Serena, uh, Muguruza, she is uh, one of a few player who keeps challenging you, a young player who keeps challenging you. Uh, do you appreciate that kind of challenge, a new player coming up? Um, yeah, I think, you know, I obviously um, always want to do the best and I want to play the best and I kind of gear up for that. So I definitely feel that, you know, it was a great challenge. Serena Garbini is a person who hits a lot of aggressive balls. I guess just in comparison to other players on tour, do you feel like she's one of the players that is hitting one of the hardest balls? And is that something that no one else is really doing against you on a consistent basis? Yeah, she's definitely hitting hard. It just depends on who I play. Um, she hits a lot. She just goes for broke on every shot. Um, and it works for her. So, um, yeah. Don't remember the rest. We are looking at looking at Garbine from a different perspective. She's young, twenty-two. How would you assess her future? Well, I think she's a, a bright future. Obviously, you know she um, knows how to play on the the big stage, and she knows how to clearly she knows how to win Grand Slams. Are you the type of person who can kind of let this match? go quickly or will you beat yourself up about it for a few days? <laughs> <laughs> um, I don't really know right now. I'm just, obviously it's not something I'd be like, oh, it's over with. And it's definitely something I want to dissect and see like, what can I learn from that? And what can I do to get better from it? And then um, that's the only way to keep improving. Serena, you aren't someone, you've had an incredible record uh, in Grand Slam Finals against before this year and now you've lost these two, just wondering if these moments feel different to you, where the pressure, the sort of stakes of 22, anything, if this year feels somehow different on court in these moments? 
No, I, you know, I ran up against two players that, you know, I think in Australia and made, and Kerber made 16 errors in three sets, you know, so what do you do in that situation? And today Garbine played unbelievable. So the only thing I can do is just keep trying. Thank you.